OK, let's find out how to make a prototype of an app. When you've logged in, you need to create a project and give it a title. In this example, it's called My Pets App. Then choose the type of phone. I'm going to choose an iPhone X. Now I need to click Design, and that should give me the first screen of my app. So here it is, the first screen. It's blank at the moment, so I need to add elements to it. First thing I think I'll do is add a title. So I'm going to click on the T, but look, my title is really small, so I need to change the size of the font and make it bigger. On the right hand side I can see it's in the 20s, I'm going to make it 100. Now I'm going to move it to make it more central at the top. So now I have my title, I think I'll change the style of font. Let's have a look in my list. Okay, that looks good. Now I'll change the size. Now I need an icon for my company or my app. So in this place I can look for animal icons. I think I'll use the picture of a cat. So I add it and that's going to be my icon. Just change the size, put it in the center. Now I'm going to add some more information in text to say welcome to my app and then I'm going to add a big button to enter the app. Now think about it, what do most apps have in common? Well most of them have a home button so they can always go back to the first page and usually a back button as well. So I'm going to add a home, a back and a forward button to every single one of my screens. I'm not 100% sure that these buttons are clear, so I'm going to choose some icons to represent home, back and forward. I also changed the colour of the fonts and the buttons so there's more consistency. I chose the same blue. Now it's super important that you save everything. So on the top right, you have to click on Save. Then I click Done, and now I can see I have my first screen ready. Now I've done all that work, and I want things to be consistent, I'm going to make a copy of that screen, and then start the next screen. On this next screen, I'm going to change some details very quickly, and I'm going to have a picture of my cat. Again, I'm going to remind you to always click Save and then Done, which will take you back to the home screen and you will see that now I have two screens. Now I have my second screen, I'm going to copy that so I can make a screen for my dog. The beauty of copying screens is I don't have to choose my fonts again, my colours again or my setup again. It keeps consistency. OK, now I have my three screens, it's time to test it. I click on Play. And let's see what it looks like on a real phone. Looks good. Let's click play. Nothing's happening. What about if I click forwards or home? Nothing's happening. Hmm, what do I need to do? So I need to go back to my edit page. But this time, I'm going to click the big green edit in the middle. And this allows me to make hotspots. So I scroll to the button I want to make a hotspot. And I draw a square around it. So this is going to take me to start the app. So I'm going to go to screen 1, which is my cat. So I click on it, and then click Done. Before I test it, I'm going to change the next screen. And I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to put some hotspots on the forward button. So where should this go? The forward button should take me to my dog screen. And then I'm going to add another hotspot on the back button, which should take me back to the first page, which is the home screen. And then I'm going to put a hotspot on the home button, which should also take me to the home screen. Let's add some more hotspots to my dog page. And let's do that fast. So I'm going to add the home page hotspot. I'm going to add the back button hotspot. And there's no need to go forwards because that's the last screen. Now we're ready to test. So I've clicked on play. Let's see if these hotspots work. So this should take me into the app. It does. I see my cat. Let's test the forward button, which should take me to my dog. 
Let's try the back button, which should take me back to the cat. And the home button should take me back to the home page.